I'm going to do a general overview of all of the muscles and you might not be able to see individual ones but I can talk you through them um, individually. I like to keep a, a wider screen on this so you can get a perspective of where everything is. So it'll be just an overview of everything. What we're going to see is first of all down here at pectoral we're going to see xiphi humoralis. Next up we're going to see from here all the way up a little bit more. I lied about zooming in. We've got xiphi humoralis right here. Next up we're going to have the muscle from down here all the way up to here. This is all defined as uh, the pectoralis minor. Then we're going to be seeing the pectoralis major which is a more triangular shape. It's defined from here to here. Okay. Then going up even further we're going to find from here to here we're going to find the pecto antibrachialis. On top of that we're going to find our deltoids. Now if I lift up between the pectorals, I lift up here on the forearm and I lift down the medial part of, this is the medial part of the tricep, right here is going to be your biceps brachii. So I went underneath pectoral muscles and uh, lifted down the tricep muscle. Okay, That's biceps brachii. Now moving into the abdominal region, I'll zoom out a little bit more again. What we're seeing is following either side rectus abdominis. We're going to find on the outside all the grain runs down this way. This is the external oblique, external abdominal oblique. I lift that up. Now this side actually got uh, torn up a little bit, um, ruptured somehow. So I pulled one away here. I'm going to see that the grain of this actually runs downward and this is going to be the internal abdominal oblique and I can peel that back away. I clean that out just a little bit to see um, to show you that these go straight across and that's going to be the transversus abdominis. So rectus abdominis, external, internal, then transversus. Moving on to the back of the cat. Okay, we've got first of all, okay, the head is right here. We've got the trapezius from up here down to here. The latissimus dorsi is the big wing-like ones that go down here. Okay, if I lift up on that Okay, there, you will always find a little bit of fat and things like that. And I cut away a little bit um, so you could see uh, up into the armpit area where we'll find our uh, serratus anterior. Think serrated knife um, and jagged knife and things like that. That's what serrated means. It looks like jagged muscles underneath there. Okay, now when we take a look um, at the shoulders, what we did is we split the trapezius muscles. We split into the shoulder itself just real lightly. We took a look at these strings that tied to the uh, medial portion, medial aspect of the scapula. These are going to be right here and right here. These are going to be your rhomboideous muscles. If I pull away the trapezius a little bit, I'm going to find the uh, supraspinatus muscle. Named supra because it's above spinatus because we've got the spine uh, of the scapula itself. I pull that down a little bit and I'll start to see some of the infraspinatus muscle. Okay, From this aspect, from the side, we're going to see also tricep and deltoid up here. A lot of people think of the human, the biceps, it's right here. Actually it's underneath the deltoid. So this is all deltoid up here. Remember how we saw the deltoid, uh, the the biceps brachii we had to pull inside. Okay, now I'm going to switch to this arm. We're looking at the lateral side of the cat. What we're going to see are the upper arm muscles. I reflected a tricep and we saw right here we saw the brachialis muscle. Now I am going to zoom in for the uh, forearm muscles so you can see them a little bit better. Okay, so I reflected that. Now we can see Right here is the brachialis. Right here, this string right here that falls underneath. The top one is actually blood vessel. Directly underneath that is going to be the brachioradialis muscle. Then we look at the form. We separate it all out. We see the extensor carpi radialis longus, the extensor carpi radialis brevis because it's briefer or more brief, extensor digitorum communis, extensor digitorum lateralis, extensor carpi 
ulnaris down here. If I flip to the medial aspect and look on the inside part of the arm, say hello kitty, then we're going to see, now this is down on the ulnar side, up here is the radial side, the only two that you need to know down here is going to be where the flexor carpi ulnaris is, and then up here is going to be the palmaris longus. It leads right to the palm of the cat. Okay, going up this way. Now, when we take a look at the leg muscles, again, we'll start from um, the lateral aspect. We'll see from the outside. What we're going to be seeing is some gluteal muscles. First of all, we've got right here they're pretty tough to define and, and actually capture on the camera. So we've got the uh, gluteus medius or gluteus minimus. You'll see both terms used. This is the smaller one, but it's actually bigger on the cat. Here's the gluteus maximus, okay, from here and here. Now as we work our way down, here's the biceps femoris. And here we had pulled away, uh, kind of cut away the fascia of the tensor fascia lata right here. Now as I reflect this up, the biceps femoris up, I'm going to see all, remember we cut away the, the fascia of the tensor fascia lata, what we're seeing here is the vastus lateralis. Underneath what we're seeing is the semitendinosus. As I fold away the side of the vastus lateralis, you'll see the rectus femoris sitting right on top. Now if I go to the sides of that, between the rectus femoris and the vastus lateralis, what we're going to see is a vastus intermedius, right that down there that sits on top of the femur. I'm going to flip this over. We're going to look at the medial aspect of, of the leg. I find sartorius here. I'm going to lift that up. We see vastus medialis and again the rectus femoris right here. Not in the best of shape, it kind of frayed away on me. Okay, but this is, we have a landmark of a blood vessel right here. You're going to find vastus medialis on top. Now down below that, what we're going to find is, semi, uh, is the gracilis. I reflect that away, and I'm going to see two muscles. Okay? We don't worry about this little guy down here. This is the semitendinosus. Here's semimembranosus and the adductors. 